as somebody who mapped the second, right, lived the second offset and built this capability that, that was fielded and we're recognizing and using now, what are the cap are there specific things that China and Russia are doing or anybody else is doing that keeps you awake at night that you think is particularly formidable and a problematic? Uh, there's no reason why we can't be friends with China and Russia. I've ha had a lot of experience face to face with my counterparts in both of those countries. We you know, have sat down together, had a few drinks, dinner. Uh, everywhere that I found either Chinese or Russian presence, I was able to find common interests that we could work on. So my concern is not them. I mean, I think North Korea is the biggest uh, security problem in my lifetime, really, because the country is under crazy leadership, they've made quite clear what their intentions are, and they are creating a capability to, uh, that we see every day improve quite rapidly. Uh, we simply have to do something about North Korea's nuclear uh, ICBM program. And I'm all for di diplomacy, trying to engage the Chinese, any way you can do it, I'm, count me in. But I don't think they're going to give up this program based on persuasion or economic boycotts or anything else. I think we have to militarily dismantle that capability. And we don't have to do it by sundown today, but it, we have to do it in a fairly near term, in my opinion. So, uh, because that, that's not a country that we share interests in and can figure out how to get along with. By comparison, I think the Chinese problem and the Russian problem are manageable because we're big countries and we act like adults and we, we, can, we do have common interests, including counterterrorism. You know, we should be working together with that. I can't understand why we, why we have so much trouble working with China and, and Russia. We should be able, that's solvable. And we should use all the, the tools in our uh, toolbox, diplomacy, economics, even moral, ethical, social strength that we have as a country. I mean, everybody listens to our music and watches our movies. We got cultural advantages with those countries that we don't have with North Korea. So, uh, you know, I, I don't want to belittle those problems. Those are major league problems. Uh, requires genius to work on them. But I think the, a much bigger problem, is, and, uh, you know, is this what's happening to us today with, in uh, North Korea. You, you don't think nuclear deterrence will work for them to accept them as a nuclear nation and say, okay, here's the rule book? I think it might. But I think the downside of being wrong on that uh, is uh, catastrophic. I don't want to trade Seattle and Los Angeles uh, on the bet that we can deter them. When it doesn't sound to me like he's deterrable, okay? Doesn't sound like it. Uh, so maybe Maybe deterrence works, but what odds do you think you would give on that bet? Is it 80-20? You think he's 80% deterrable and maybe 20% just too crazy to deter? I don't want to take that bet. 20% chance of losing Chicago is, is not, not good enough for me. How messy would it be to fight that war? Messy as, as the devil. That would, I mean, look, Seoul is within artillery range of the DMZ, as you know better than me. And Seoul constitutes maybe 65% of the wealth of South Korea. That wealth is very likely to be burned up. It's too bad because it's an accident of geography. If Seoul was south, you know, in the middle of the country somewhere, we wouldn't have the same problem. But it is where it is, and that means this is a very, very messy problem. And if I were a, 
uh, Korea in general, and, and the protection of Seoul was my principal concern, I would not be making the same case that I am. But I'm not. My interest is Chicago, Los Angeles, Portland, Oregon, where I'm from. And I don't want to put those towns at risk against a person who's made it quite clear what he wants to do to them and is apparently right under our nose developing the capability to do it. No, we have to, we have to say, here's a certain point. You can either dismantle this capability yourself or we will help you do it. And the consequences will be grim. We'll have to rebuild a lot of uh, wealth in, uh, in South Korea. But, I mean, it, anybody who's got a better idea, I'm all for it. But, you know, let's try diplomacy. Let's try sanctions. Let's try all these other things. My, con my, my hunch is that what works here is uh, military power. General Tony McPeak, it was an honor talking to you, as right. always, sir. Uh, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks being, for being so generous with your time. Okay, thank you.